Joined here at the intermission by Scream Eagles forward Tyler Hyland, coming over from Blainville Bois Briand in the offseason. Tyler, what was your reaction to the trade? I was surprised for sure. It's a shock whenever somebody gets traded. I wasn't expecting it, but I was really excited about the opportunity, and I had heard a lot of good things about Cape Breton through friends I had playing here, like Ty Fournier and Doobie, so I was excited. Going back to before your Q career, you had a chance to play in the TELUS Cup, the final game. I know it didn't end as you wanted, but tell us about that experience. That was an amazing experience. It was a great event. Got to see a different part of Canada that I hadn't seen, which was awesome. We came really close there at the end. I think it was the longest game in TELUS Cup history or something like that, but it was an amazing experience. I'll never forget it, and a great group of guys there. I think they actually had to preempt an NHL playoff game that was supposed to be on just so that you guys could finish. Not the only big-level experience you've had, though. You had a chance to play U-17s as well. Talk about that. Yeah, that was another amazing experience. Whenever you get to put on that jersey, represent your country, it's unreal. I don't even know how to describe that feeling, to be honest. It was something just... Great for my hockey career and great for me as a person. I learned a lot. You're from the Montreal area, so when you played in Blainville, you were playing basically close to home. We hear a lot about guys having to leave home. Do you think it's tougher for a guy to leave home at the beginning of his junior career or to do like you did and do it in the middle of your junior career? I think it's definitely tougher to leave when you're younger. I think it was good for me to have my family a little bit close, you know, around in the atmosphere just to get kind of used to it. I think either way, it's, it's a great experience. The Q's a great league, and guys go through different experiences. But for me, it was good to be close to home, I think. Of course, the Eagles stop to practice in Montreal quite frequently. Usually, you'll see family come in. You had a furry family member come in to visit. Tell us about that. Yeah, my dog. I was missing Roxy a lot, that's for sure. I was really happy to see her. She was happy to see me, too. So that was a nice taste of home. Yeah, people forget about that. People are not just away from their parents and siblings, but also away from their pets as well. Talk about the adjustment to coming to Cape Breton, not just being away from home, but I think everybody knows Joel Boucher and the Armada tend to be a more tight team. They'd love to win one nothing games if they could. Cape Breton, a bit more free-flowing. Has that been something noticeable for you? Every team plays differently, for sure. There's different systems. There's things to get used to. Honestly, for me, I've loved it here so far. The players gave me a warm welcome when I got here. The staff, my billets, great billets. Honestly, for me, it's been great here. I've loved my experience. Tell us about this group as you come in towards the Christmas break. You've played almost half the year. How have things come together for this team? I think we're a tight-knit group so far. We've had a great first half of the season. I think we've surprised a lot of people with where we are in the standings and some of the games that we've played beat top teams. So I think we just got to carry on with that uh, in the second half of the season here. Uh, lastly, I'll ask, third year in the league, but again, first year in Cape Breton. So if somebody hadn't seen Tyler Holland before, how would you describe yourself as a player? I'm a speedy player, energy player, first on puck, good on the forward check. I'm responsible. I'll bring some defensive responsibility, but I, I can contribute offensively too, which I'm trying to improve this season and still got some work to do there, but I think it's coming along. Well, fans look forward to seeing you progress. Thanks for this, Tyler. Best of luck going forward. Yeah, thank you. That's Screaming Eagles forward Tyler Highland joining us at the intermission. You're listening to McDonald Auto Group, Screaming Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.